Alrighty. Hi guys, let's get started. Um, so a few people just coming onto the call now, so we'll just wait a few moments. And today we're basically going to be covering the fundamentals of online lead conversion. So I know it's something a lot of teams struggle with, a lot of agents struggle with, and we're going to break it down today and I'm going to show you what you know some of the top teams are doing to really um, get the results you guys are after. And so hopefully there's going to be some tactics you can take away straight away and apply to your business and start converting more of these internet leads because they really are a recipe for explosive growth of a real estate business. You know, a lot of the teams that have entered the top 100 in the last few years have been doing that based on internet leads just because they've worked this process out. Alrighty, so about me, my name is Dan Corkill. I'm an Aussie, if you can't tell by the accent, and I'm the co-founder of Follow Up Boss. So we're a software company and we've been working with real estate teams for the last year, helping them uh, streamline their lead conversion from online and you know, obviously follow up with them and turn them into customers. So we've seen a lot of teams you know, that have struggled with this and we've seen sort of what they've implemented to fix it and that's what we're going to be trying to share with you guys here today. Not so much um, about using our software or any particular software, but understanding the strategy and the reasons why people are getting results and some people aren't. So let's try and keep it interactive today. If you can hear me, see the screen, just raise your hand, say yes, and if you have any questions as we go along, um, just shoot them in the chat box. So straight off the bat, you want to think big. So the average realtor earns 35k a year. Small businesses are small for a reason. They aren't action takers. They don't implement systems. They don't understand marketing ROI. So if you're surrounded by, I guess, the, a lot of online noise about, you know, you need to be worried about Twitter, you need to be worried about clout scores and all these things, um, just try and think a bit bigger than that stuff. Like how can I run a, a really great business that's going to give me the results I want in life? What do I need to do? What are the top teams doing? Um, think bigger like that instead of getting mired in all the stuff of you know the average person, the average frustrated agent, because that that's not going to be helpful, basically. Okay, so today yeah we're going to cover the critical parts of online link conversion, without which you may as well stop generating internet leads. We, we see people spending hundreds of dollars a month, thousands, and not getting not converting any of them. Um, that's pointless. You may as well just stop your online marketing. Um, leads don't convert themselves. Uh, what to focus on in your business to grow? We're going to give you a little demo of how Follow Up Boss does work to automate some of this stuff. Then we're going to do some Q&A and let you know where to get free internet leads from towards the end if anybody's interested in that. So this is something cool. Uh, I, I call it past performance analysis. So you know how everyone has like a friend and they, they've they bought a gym membership. I've done it as well sometimes. And you ask them, how many times are you going to the gym each week? They say, yeah, three times. I, I'm going three times. And you say, well, how many times did you go last week? And then they'll say, oh, Monday I had to work late. On Tuesday I had to pick the kids up from school. Wednesday, you know, that wasn't a good day. And you know, you get get right down to it, and maybe they went one times last week, or no times at all. So, basically, what this is is people over overestimate their future performance. Like, if you ask someone how quickly they call their leads or how much they respond to their leads, they say, "Yeah, I respond all the time. Like, I respond really fast." But you can only really analyze your performance by looking at the past. So, yeah, we had the gym membership example. Um, so just have a think about how your last 10 leads treated. Past performance is the best indicator of what is implemented in your business. If you didn't treat your last 10 leads well, the next 10 isn't looking so great either. And then after that, the next 100 and the next 1,000. So that obviously has dramatic effects on your income. So look at your past performance. That is the best indicator of future performance. Obviously, you can adjust future performance, but you need to put in place new systems or new habits. So the first and the most important thing with internet leads is speed of response. Hands down, 
um, everything else comes second to this. So when, they, when someone applies online, they want to hear some more information, they've got an inquiry about a property, they really want a response now. And getting them that response is going to mean you're much more likely to be able to talk to them on the phone, you're much more likely to look professional, and you're much more likely to end up you know, having a good, meaningful conversation with that person and booking an appointment. So there's been studies down about this. This is one MIT study. It says you're 100 times more likely to contact a client within five minutes versus calling within 30 minutes. So just think about this. This is talking specifically about internet leads um, 100 times. So you really need to nail the speed of response. Um, 15 minutes is good. Five minutes is fantastic. A couple of hours, you're just leaving money on the table. Um, it's got, you know, you, it's going to be much harder to get in contact with that person. Maybe they're having dinner with their family. Maybe they're at work now. Um, you can almost guarantee they're not waiting by their phone for your call, um, like they would be when, when they first made the inquiry. So, 74% of all buyers and 76% of all sellers will work with the first agent they talk to. So, I think everyone's heard this NASDAQ before. Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com. I forget what that, that little note was about. Oh yeah, if you're on Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com, a lot of those leads get sent to multiple agents. So this again just emphasizes the the um, importance of being the first person they talk to. You don't want to be like the the third realtor calling them. Um, just examples of some teams that are killing it. The Good Life team has a five minute guarantee to their sellers, so they promise all their sellers. They will answer all inquiries about their properties in five minutes. I know the Good Life team's closing about 60% of their um, total transactions through the internet. So that that's really what's possible when you start implementing this stuff, not just um, you know, not just knowing it, but not having it implemented. So yeah, those guys are crushing it. I mean, that's just not a coincidence that they have that five-minute response time and then that much of their business comes from the internet. Uh, Zillow lead conversion, lots of people will tell you Zillow leads are bad. I used to believe them, then I actually found out <laughs> that for um, the teams that are actually responding fast to their leads, um, following up their leads, and you know tracking and measuring their marketing, Zillow is actually one of the highest quality sources of leads, of online leads anyway. So in terms of online leads, a lot of top teams are finding that Zillow sends them the best inquiries. And you know that's just in total contrast to what I, I believed before, because a lot of people were told me Zillow just terrible leads. But you see, those people aren't calling their leads quickly; they aren't following up. And any lead source is going to be terrible when that's the case. So 15 minutes is good; five is better. Um, if you've got a team, when you get to the stage that you can, you want to look at getting in place a lead coordinator. And that person's sole job is to get leads ready to go on appointments with agents. So that would be the ones that are calling the leads instantly as they come in from the internet and following up with them and trying to get um, you know, their pre-qualification to confirm that. And yeah, this is really a way a lot of teams are going. And the difference between having someone in place that's dedicated to this and not having anyone and just sort of um, spreading leads out to agents is sort of night and day the results you get. So phone calls, um, you know, I just say, if you're not really calling internet internet leads now, just try and start off with three calls to each lead. Um, five is better, but don't don't try and go from making no calls to making five calls straight away. Just try and gradually get there, so you can, you know, gradually improve your results. Um, ABS always be serving. Listen deeply to their needs. So a lot of people, I guess are getting on the phone and just trying to pitch them on being their agent, which is, you know, that's good, but you want you want to offer some value first. You want to understand their needs and you want to um, you know generally want to help them instead of just get them to sign that buyer's agreement. So it's not really always be closing. I like to think it's always be serving. I'll give you a quick example of this. I was looking to rent a property um, about a month ago, I got a new apartment and yeah, I contacted about 10 real estate agents just through the internet. And the first person we called, 
he was helpful. He was listening to my needs. Um, so I needed fiber internet access for my apartment. He understood that. He listened and um, he, he was helpful in that regard. And then the other nine realtors uh, I talked to, <laughs> they, they didn't care at all. Like I would tell them very specifically, that's what I need. They would suggest properties that didn't have it. Um, they would say, oh, you know, let me get back to you with some different properties. They never called back. Um, the the f very first person I talked to was helpful and he listened to what I needed and he followed up later. I mean, it's a no-brainer who got the business there. So just, just think about that. There was 10 real estate agents I talked to, but there was only one that was ever <laughs> really in the race. And a little bit of, that, of it as well is I'm going to be dealing with this person paying rent, you know, if there's problems with their house, the apartment, I'm going to have to um, call him up and get him fixed. So I don't, want to be t I don't want to be dealing over the next 12 months with someone who's not professional, someone who's not on the ball. So that just makes decisions like this a no-brainer. And you've got to think about that when you're buying a house for someone as well. Like they're going to be spending a substantial amount of time with you. I mean, if they don't think you're professional, they don't think you're going to um, look after them, show up on time. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer for them to choose someone else who will. So MLS property drip, you want to be sending all your online leads. You want to help them get set up with um, an MLS property drip. So you, if you don't know what that is, that's just dripping them out um, properties that match their search criteria by email. So you want to do that because that's like some of the most valuable information a buyer can get. It's very difficult to search online. Um, as we all know, because Zillow, Trulia, and all these sites that are syndicated, there's all these um, expired listings out there, properties that are sold, and there's all these kind of problems with doing that, and you, you find a lot of dud data. But if you can set someone up with a direct search that matches all their criteria, um, that's extremely valuable. So you're going to have non-responsive leads, people you can't get on the phone. What you want to do with these people is send them a short automated drip campaign to try and generate a response. Just a short, um, short emails that say like, hey, how can I help you with your home search at the moment? Here's my cell number. Just let me know if there's anything I can do while you're still searching online. And we've been finding the people that implement this have about 10% response rate. So yeah, you, you want to implement something like this in addition to the phone calls, the property drip, and you know a fast speed of response. This can really help you um, monetize all those leads that weren't going to turn into anything anyway. And again, this is just some people think autoresponders are a little bit um, bad. It just depends the way you use it. I mean, an autoresponder can really be used just to follow up with someone and say, "Hey," because um, everyone's busy in life. Just just a simple autoresponder just to make sure that they know you're there to help them. If they have any questions at all, if there's any way you can. So just keep them short, keep them professional. And you know, it's it's really a service to everyone. So the numbers of lead conversion. Um, most people give up on internet leads before they've reached the point where closing a transaction would even be possible. So if it takes 100 calls to have 40 conversations and 40 conversations to close a transaction, well, most people never make the 100 calls. And then they want to sort of say internet leads don't work. Um, all, the, all these basically crazy theories about you know leads from Zillow aren't good. And it, just, it doesn't serve people to believe that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously, they work. The top teams are really crushing it with internet leads right now. I mean, this is in like, you know, one of the most difficult times in the US over the last couple of years in real estate, um, teams have been just been crushing it and growing their businesses like crazy just because they've worked this out. Well, everyone, a lot of other teams are, you know, still just struggling. And if you have this belief that internet leads don't work, well, you're never going to make them work because it's really what it comes down to. Internet leads don't convert themselves. No leads do that. You've really got to apply the process and go through the process every single day to get the results. So address your business, address the problems your business actually has. Um, this is a big problem I see in real estate. A lot of people are looking to gurus or Facebook or you know just different people 
to try and get, you know, like what's the next move for my business? What's what do I need to buy? What software do I need to buy? What um, coaching course do I need to buy? So you're the one who has to pay attention to your numbers. Opinion from other people are well intentioned, but often useless. So a lot of people you know, have an opinion about Zillow or various other um, strategies, but only you can really know what's going on in your business. Like. For example, in this webinar, we're talking about lead conversion, but maybe you already kick ass at lead conversion. Maybe you're like the best person out there. I don't know that. And maybe the problem you have is actually lead generation. Um, so you've got to take everything, I guess, that comes in through a bit of a filter, and you do that by knowing the numbers in your business. So once you know actually like how many leads am I converting, how fast is my speed of response, you know, how many emails do I send to each lead? You can start to look at where the weaknesses are in your business and really improve those areas because that's what, that's what gets your results at the end of the day, being internally focused on your business and on your customers, not externally focused on, you know, you've realtor.com launched some new ad campaign or something like that. It doesn't really affect your business. Uh, so a question I see a lot in Facebook groups is, should I buy Trulia or Zillow leads? It doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're if you're you don't have a system in place to convert them, it's going to make no difference. And this is like just another example. People will jump on board, and everyone's just going to say whatever they're paying for. Like if they're buying Zillow leads, they're going to say Zillow. If they're buying Trulia leads, they're going to say Trulia. So you want to try and get be a bit smarter and look for look for teams and people that are measuring this kind of stuff and have access to the actual data and see what they're doing. Like most teams are paying for both Zillow and Trulia because if you can, if you're converting your online leads, why wouldn't you want more of them? This is like asking someone if you know if you should buy an iPhone or an Android. I mean, everyone with iPhone is just going to say, "Yeah, get an iPhone." <laughs> People with Android are probably going to say, "Get an Android." I mean, it doesn't actually help. So focus on serving your customers. Be internally focused on improving your business. If you call a website provider, they'll sell you a website. If you call Zillow, they'll call, they'll sell you their marketing package. So you just got to realize um, when you go into sales conversations with vendors, they're just gonna a lot of the time they're just gonna sell you what they're offering, even if that's not what really what you need. Like I see a lot of people out there struggling with internet leads, and then there's people that were just gonna sell them more internet leads. But the problem is isn't that they don't have enough they actually have too many already and now they, they're buying even more. The problem is they're not actually converting those into commission checks. So just keep that in mind. I mean, it's kind of, it sounds basic, but I see too many people worried about stuff that's happening outside of their business instead of focusing on what's inside their business. So a little bit of past performance analysis like we talked about. Um, Let's apply this to what we sort of just learned. So how were your last 10 leads treated? Did they get a fast response? Did they get multiple phone calls? Did they get multiple emails? Did you help them in any way with their home search? I mean, if you didn't, then what's the chance of that person becoming a customer? It's close to zero. I mean, if they contacted you, made an inquiry, and you didn't help them, um, it's kind of a no-brainer. They're going somewhere else. So fast performance, past performance is the best indicator of what is implemented in your business. Um, we already covered this. So yeah, if you want to improve your future performance, look at your past performance first. That's the most important thing. Like if you earned 50K last year, then you're probably going to earn 50K again this year unless you improve something. I mean, you need to change stuff to get different results. So the danger of chasing distractions. I mean, we all get distracted from time to time. I'm as guilty of it as anyone. Um, social media is a big one. Like, I, I get a lot of um, you know people actually find out about us through social media and things like that. It's you know it's a good channel for us, but it can be very distracting if you're wasting time on there every day. Um, you know, you're seeing like this link, or this is where you get a lot of that external information from the outside world instead of focusing on what really needs to get done in your business. Um, too much automation, so follow-up boss automates a lot of stuff. 
um, to do with lead conversion and managing your leads and things like that. But we get people who are really, they're too obsessed with automation when they're using our system and they, they think that somehow they're going to be able to set up some kind of fancy system where they never have to call their leads or, you know, really do any work. So don't try and um, focus too much on software and thinking there's some clever ways to automate too many things. It's like the basics of business is what gets 90% of the results. So shiny things, the latest Twitter tool, I mean, where's the realtor um, closing 20 deals a, a year from Twitter? I mean, I'd be more interested in, in um, Twitter if that was happening. Someone could show me that guy. I mean, just Twitter, again, is a great tool like Facebook. It's useful, but you gotta, you got to focus on what are, the, what are the parts of your business that are actually going to get you the results you want. So a good way to test it is, will this product make something I am currently doing easier? How much money will it make me? And will it save me time? I mean, if it doesn't fulfill one of those three categories, making something you're currently doing easier, how much money will it make you? Or will it save you time? Then it's probably not going to be useful, really. I mean, see, a lot of tools are aspirational purchases. Like, for example, like, a Twitter tool that allows you to automate posting. Well, do you post to Twitter anyway? I mean, that's not going to be useful to you because you don't already do that. Sure, you could start, but then again, how is that going to help you make your money? How's that going to save you time? It's going to actually cost you time to set that up and to you know run it all the time. So productivity, this is a big one. I see a lot of people get bogged down in emails. You need to really filter out distractions. I mean, if you've got a home office, I know that can be very distracting. Um, make sure that people are aware of when you're working, um, closed doors, things like that. Um, email filters. You really should only be getting humans in your inbox. You shouldn't be getting um, group on deals and all kinds of distractions every day. I mean, I see real estate agents with inboxes of 10,000 and um, that's just not productive. I mean, checking your email all day, seeing the little notification pop up on your phone, it's you know, it's not helpful. It should really be reserved for, you know, clients and people that are going to become clients. So prioritize like your life depended on it because it does. I mean, how we spend our lives every day is really what affects um, our business, our families, everything. I mean, you really need to pay attention to what you're spending time on every day. Does that, that's what um, that's what makes a difference in business. And um, when you think about it, like if you earn 50k a year last year, that's just really broken down into the activities you did every month. And then broken down further into the activities you did every day that month, and then broken down further into like hours and minutes. So it's kind of crazy when you think about that. And I mean, if you spent if you spent two hours on Facebook today, you're probably going to spend two hours tomorrow. And you just see how that quickly stacks up into a whole year of wasted time. If you don't have a system, you are the system. Don't be a cog in the wheel. So you need to have you need to have systems in place. I mean, I see a lot of teams, and um, basically the broker or the team leader is just getting leads sent to them, and then they kind of manually forward them out to agents, and then they don't really know what goes on from there. Um, that's not effective, and that's just wasting time because the the broker is just kind of the person in the middle. Um, it, it ends up being a, a much longer response time to the client if the agents even call them at all because a lot of agents don't call internet leads. So the broker is actually wasting his time every day checking emails and then forwarding them out to people then not even knowing what happens after that. So you've got to look for smart automation in your business. You know, implement things like Gmail filters. I mean, you can do a lot with that. Don't be just like, yeah, just don't be a cog in the wheel. I mean, you want to be make, doing high value activities, not, you know, like entering data into a CRM or doing doing stuff like that or forwarding emails manually. Like, that stuff is just low value activities. So, yeah, we'll do a quick demo of follow up boss and how, how it helps you automate your some of your lead management. So 
This is the back end. With Follow Up Boss, all your leads flow into the system automatically. So you can see down here, Commissions Inc., Diverse Solutions, uh, truly a Zillow, Realtor.com. All the leads come into the Follow Up Boss system automatically. You don't need to have an a, a, um, lead coordinator or um, agents typing them in because, again, that's just something that you should be automating. You shouldn't be doing that kind of work. And you need to have all your leads in one place because you need one simple place to be able to go to and say, hey, this is what's going on with all our leads from Zillow. This is what's going on with all the leads I've sent to John Smith. And you can sort of see that here all in one place. You can see exactly what's going on. You also have this screen. Uh, it's just called the follow-up today screen. It shows you every person you need to call, um, email, or follow up today. So this is obviously very useful for staying organized. You get emailed a list at the start of every morning. A lot of the top producers have assistants and, you know, preparing this kind of call sheet for them every morning. You can just, you can automate this. I mean, you don't have to have an assistant doing it. As long as, you you know, you're keeping a bit organized and you, you, you make sure all your leads are flowing in here automatically, you can, you can just have this prepared for you automatically as well. So you're not waking up every morning just thinking, oh, who am I going to call today? What am I going to do? What's going on with George Bartlett? Like, you want to have all that information in front of you. You don't want to be spending time thinking about that stuff. So this is uh, contact record. One thing Follow Up Boss does is it calls your phone as soon as an internet lead comes into the system. So you can be responding to your Zillow leads, your Trulia leads, your leads from your website the second they come in. So a consumer's pressing submit on the website, they're hearing from you two minutes later. I mean, just think about how much more professional that is than the response that most um, people offer to internet leads, basically. And I mean, if you want to sort of contrast this, just you can kind of go on Zillow and just make an inquiry and just see how many people call you back. Like a lot of people won't even call you back, let alone in in two minutes. Um, and if you want to see, go look at what some of the top producing teams are doing. Like look at the top producers in your um, in your area. Just go on their website and submit an inquiry. I can almost guarantee you they're getting back to you extremely fast. That they follow up multiple times. I mean. None of this stuff is a coincidence. It's just some teams have implemented the process and some teams still have a lot of room to improve and, and grow um, this side of their business. So yeah, that happens as an instant phone call. There's also some smart automation with MailChimp here. So you'll be able to set up an autoresponder and you can see when people open and click on that autoresponder. You've also got all this person's Facebook information and this gets sent over to you as soon as as soon as the lead comes in. So that's pretty cool as well. We can see a little bit about them, their gender, where they're from, um, where they work. It's just so I know a little bit more about someone before you um, before you engage them. And there's all the other standard details are here like listing price and broker demo, etc. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys uh, in relation to Follow Up Boss. If you are interested in trying out Follow Up Boss, head on over to the website. We do a 14-day free trial. Um, it's just in the top right-hand corner here. Hit that button. You'll be taken through to a page. Just um, fill in your details. Hit um, Start My Free Trial. And we'll get in touch with you and just help you set this up in your business so you can focus on higher value tasks and you know, providing really superior customer service and converting more, start converting more of your internet leads. So cool. The, the um, I don't have a slide for this, but the last thing I wanted to cover was where to get free internet leads from. I mean, everyone obsesses about you know where they're going to spend their money, and it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, internet leads are easy to come by. You can do posting to Craigslist. You can do, um, you know, you can do Zillow zip codes. You can, you know, get your IDX website running well and getting some traffic to that. 
Um, leads are important, but most people aren't following up their leads. That's where the real, you know, the rubber hits the road. That's where you're going to get the results. So where to get free leads from is easy. You just find someone in your office. <laughs> There's probably about 20 agents that are paying for internet leads. Um, brokers, team leaders, they all have internet leads and they all want someone to follow them up. So if you just go to someone and make a value proposition, um, I'll call all your internet leads in five minutes. I'll follow them up multiple times. I've set up an autoresponder with you know, follow-up boss or some other kind of system. They're all going to flow automatically. Every th person who comes in is going to be taken care of. You know, What are they going to say to that offer? No. I mean, it's a no-brainer. You, you're, and you can obviously work out the compensation with them. You, you know, if you want to do it um, 10%, 20%, that's, that's something for you to work out with them. But at the moment, they're not, they're not getting any return on those leads. They know that. So if you're willing to put in the hard work that they're not, um, you, you, know, you can really get, there's no limit to sort of how many people you can ask to take care of their leads. So awesome guys, I mean, is there any questions? We covered it, covered a lot of stuff. Um, if you would like a, a, uh, a replay of this webinar, just let me know and just send me through one thing that you learned and I'll send you across a copy of the webinar. And if you like some of the email scripts that we're using, um, with our clients, you know, for those non-responsive leads. So thanks guys for spending your time today and we'll talk soon.